happy that you're here as far as the Sam's Club finals. Over 160 master judges said, I want to come to Bentonville. I'll travel from all four points of the, of the country on my own dime to eat for two hours. I love this sport. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Well, Y'all may have already heard, we've done 31 of these in 32 weeks. This is the culmination of half a million dollars that we're giving out. You are determining the winners of $150,000. Master judges, we appreciate you and the levels that you have gone to for the sport we love. How many were not at a local or regional judging? All right. You didn't get your $25 gift card, did you? <laughs> Everybody's after that soft serve after the event. Yeah, I understand. Is Bill Deeks here? Bill, would you mind coming up here and playing Vandal White for a moment? <laughs> when you talk about champions of barbecue, we think Carolyn Wells, founders of KCBS, but with Sam's Club, Bob Field, and Bill Deese are what makes this motor run. I get the pleasure of working with him. Sometimes we don't have to talk, sometimes we do. But the fact, uh, fantastic side of this is they are absolute champions of our sport. $2.81 million that Sam's Club has given out in six years as of today. <laughs> I, want, I want to add some mild perspective to this because that $2.81 is the prize money alone, not what it takes to run the tours. We can't do it without great sponsors. All those folks on the front row, the side of the truck, you have to notice those folks. They are definite parts and share with them the, uh, the things that you think. If you tweet, tweet hashtag on, on the interwebs, go ahead and put it out there. Sam's Club, they do listen. Hashtag Sam's Club, BBQ, and KCBS is what we're using a lot of. You are going to be able to see awards live on Facebook today. Sam's Club's Facebook, we're broadcasting live. You're going to see some folks here recording you. Smile and look pretty. I don't have hair and makeup budget at all. Um, we also, what did you do? What did you do? We, let me preface by saying this. We have always taken care of judges in different ways over the years. Um, and my joke on the, on the road is some of us still have the relish in the fridge. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> it's been wonderful. Sage Club committed, if y'all didn't make the banquet, they committed to bigger and better tomahawk steak dinners and just wonderful things. They have really treated barbecue folks like royalty. But uh, for the judges, we always we know we can't have this sport without judges. What did you do, Bill? Like uh, Mike said, we always want to do better and uh, make sure that we take care of you guys because you guys are the ones out there uh, judging these events and making things happen. And these teams are here because of you guys. Um, I'm sure they really appreciate that as well. So, um, along with the judges this year, or uh, the teams this year, we wanted to make sure you guys were taken care of, uh, just like always. Um, but we up to this year for you guys, and every person here, every judge, will receive a Yeti Hood. Thank you. 
Number one was my favorite. Just because it was the first bite, it was awesome. It was tender, juicy. Um, they were all fantastic. Very good. Um, I would say my least favorite was probably number two. But they were all, I mean, it, it, it's like, they're all so good that it's, I mean, that might have been my least favorite, but the rest were they were all fantastic. Thank you. I'd say my favorite was number three. Uh, it had the t very, very tender and juicy. The uh, the skin was was just perfect, and it had a little bit of sweet and a little bit of heat. So it was a great combination. And then my second favorite would be number five, because uh, I thought again it had a, just a great, great taste. Number one would probably been my least favorite. It just didn't have quite as much flavor. Really hard to pick a favorite. Uh, I'd have to say it would be between one and two. I enjoyed them all. I see why they're all here, chicken-wise anyway. Uh, there was some bite to uh, four and five that I appreciated. Kind of glad I didn't have them first. Liked them all. I thought they were all very well cooked. Number three was a little dry on mine. Uh, the first two were, um, I thought, just excellent. And uh, number uh, four and five had a little bit of a bite, uh, which was good, but I I'm glad they were at the end and not the front. Uh, I particularly liked number one. Uh, two and five for me were a, a bit dry. Uh, and four and five, again, had a bit of a bite to it. So again, I was glad that they were at the end so they wouldn't affect my palate for the others. They were all excellent. Not uh, usual to find the legs uh, presented in so many entries. Uh, good bite through the skin on virtually all of them. Uh, my favorite was number one and two, and I would say it was a toss-up. thought number <clears throat> of our five entries I I found number one actually to be probably my favorite of the five uh, number four had a fat seam running across the top of it so it made it a little overdone for my piece um, but all in all I thought there were five very well represented entries hey, my favorite was number one and my least favorite was number two, but they were basically all very good, too. Okay, um, number four was a little tough. Number three had the best chew, I thought. Two was overdone, and number one was a little bit shy on the heat, but it was also a good grip. 
Uh, for me, uh, number four was way too spicy. Uh, number one was overdone. Uh, my best one was uh, number three. I think number four was a little bit overspiced, a little, little too salty for me. Um, number one overdone a little. Number two was my favorite all around. My favorite was the, the first three. I thought all three were good ribs. Number two was a surprise to me. As dark as it was, I was afraid it was too much smoke or burnt, but actually had a good flavor and a good bite to it. It was, it was well cooked, I thought. Number three was a little sweet. Uh, number four was very underdone. My rib was very underdone. And it was also spicy hot. It was too spicy, too hot for me. So I guess my favorite was number, the top row, one through three. My least favorite was number four. This is the pork, and uh, number two and number three actually came in identical scores. I like both of them for their flavor, good texture, uh, good good feeling in my mouth. And uh, actually, number five was the one I, I had that was the least favorite. Uh, the flavor I didn't care for, and it seemed a bit dried out, a little hard. I like number one and number two. They were excellent in every way. And uh, the fifth one I did not like. I thought it was the sauce was overpowering. I like number one and number two the best. Number one, I think, because the bark was absolutely awesome. Um, I liked the least number five because there was so much vinegar in the base of the sauce. Well, and, and I liked, uh, I'd have to say three and four. Probably four I'd give my favorite. Uh, just cooked it just about the way I think pork should be cooked. Uh, good texture, real good texture, and taste was just great. But then it's the difference between wonderful, awesome, and marvelous. So uh, we had some great, uh, great samples today. Number five, again, I'd have to say just too overpowering. Whatever flavor they used to, to uh, season it was just too much. <coughs> My favorite was the first one. It had a like a hint of smoke to it I could taste and a little bit of the heat and it was uh, well cooked, well prepared. My least favorite was number five. It was, seemed like it was just undercooked and I didn't really care for the flavor that it had. My favorite was number two. The rub itself was awesome. Cooked well, great feel mouth or mouth feel. My least favorite was number five, not only as everyone else has said, a strong flavor, but also way too much sauce. Thank you. 
I believe I liked number four the best. Um, it had a good flavor and good pull. The number five, the burn-in was a little chewy. Ninth place check. What might the ninth place check be? Ninth place is one thousand dollars. Goes to Hickory and Spice Barbecue. Eighth place. What is that eighth place check? $1,000 again goes to Slaughterhouse Five. Seventh place. That dollar figure is $2,000. $2,000 for seventh place goes to One Two BBQ. Getting a little gas money home, are we? All right. Sixth place. Moving on to sixth place. $3,000 for sixth place. Big Papa Smokers! Right up here, Sterling. We'll say hi to you. Congratulations. Excellent work. Sixth place. Right over here, we've got your check. I know. Not yet. Not yet, sir. Been walking with a little heavy. I got five 700 pins I'm taking out. We'll set those up here. But fifth place, $4,000. Fifth place with a 700.5712 Sauced Barbecue. Yeah. If y'all will come on up on stage, we'll get your picture. That 700 pin doesn't happen every day, and how often do you make it to a championship where there's five 700 scores? There you are, miss. That's for you. Congratulations. Come on over. Let's get your picture centered up here. That 700 pin is special. Congratulations, Sauce Barbecue. Excellent work this weekend. Your next score with a 700.5828. Fourth place. What is that fourth place check? Six grand. Six grand for fourth place. I love my job. Q and Stewin and Bruin. Another 700. You know how rare those are. Give him a round of applause. Excellent job. If we'll get right here, we'll take your picture. It's not every day you get a 700, gentlemen. Great work. Excellent job. Third place. You know you're getting a 700 pin if I'm announcing you now at 701.6916. J Star Barbecue. Come on up, let's get your picture. We want to commemorate this moment. 
Great job, J Star. The culmination, 750 teams. The top six from the local round moving on to the regionals. 30 teams at the regionals. The top 10 move on from that regional to the final. These 50 teams here, we're about to announce the top two. Your reserve grand champion of a year long process of the Sam's Club National Barbecue Tour for 2016 with a score of 703.3944. dollars <coughs> $25,000. <laughs> who's also known as the grand champion of the Sam's Club National Barbecue Tour, Lucky's Q. <laughs> Here you are, young man. We got a little, oh, he's got the trophy. You want the pin too? He knows, come on up, we're going to take your picture, but I have a question. Y'all are no stranger to this stage. Let's set her up on the table. Y'all are no stranger to this stage. How do you feel to come as a reserve grand champion at the Sam's Club? It's unreal, unreal feeling. Congratulations, it's excellent work today with the 700 pin as well as your reserve grand champion and $25,000. How's he going to catch that check? Uh, a lot of toys for him, I think. A lot of toys. It's a good day. Have a good one. Enjoy. Oh, yes. Yes. Pictures, please. Excellent job, Lucky's Q. The grand champion with a 7 1 1. 7 11. Point nine seven seven two to the man who's won the Royal, the Jack, said this was the last one of the majors on his bucket list. He has not won. Iowa Smoky D's. $50,000, folks. The richest payday in barbecue to Iowa Smoky D's. Your 700 pin, sir. Congratulations. And this check for $50,000, I'm going to give to her. <laughs>